The main objective of your engine coolant is to provide temperature management for your combustion engine, helping dissipate heat when the engine's hot, but also protecting the engine against freezing temperatures, hence the term antifreeze. But how do you know if your coolant's providing that right level of freeze point protection for the coldest winter conditions? One way to check is by using a FleetGuard refractometer. A refractometer is a convenient way to determine the freeze point protection in ethylene glycol, propylene glycol, and organic acid technology, also known as oat, coolants. If you live in cold weather climates where temperatures easily drop below freezing during winter, it's highly recommended that you have a refractometer handy and know how to use it to determine coolant quality prior to those freezing conditions. Let's walk through how to use a FleetGuard refractometer in a few simple steps. You'll need to have a sample of coolant in order to test, so collect a sample from the coolant overflow tank or somewhere else in the cooling system. Depending on what type of coolant you're testing, you will need the appropriate FleetGuard refractometer on hand since the viewfinders of each contain different scales for different freeze points. For all FleetGuard coolants aside from ES Complete Oat, you will use the standard EG or PG refractometer. That's FleetGuard part number CC2806. Start by calibrating your refractometer. For a standard EG or PG refractometer, use distilled water for calibration. Place three drops of water on the prism, and the fluid should cover the whole viewing area and be free of bubbles. Close the daylight plate. Bring the refractometer eyepiece up to your eye, and you should see a circular field with a freeze point scale. If the scale is not clear, use the focus to adjust. If calibrated, the boundary line should fall to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. If the boundary line does not appear at 32 degrees, use a screwdriver to adjust that calibration screw until it reads correctly. Use distilled water to flush the prism and wipe clean. After calibration, you're ready to read a sample. Place two or three drops of coolant on the prism, close the daylight plate, and bring the eyepiece to your eye. A 50-50 premix EG coolant should read around minus 34 degrees Fahrenheit, and a 50-50 premix PG coolant should read around minus 26 degrees Fahrenheit. If the reading falls outside of the expectation, use distilled water or ES Complete concentrate to correct. The ES Complete Oat refractometer, Fleet Guard part number CC8998, should be calibrated using unused ES Complete Oat 5050 premix. Place three drops of unused ES Complete Oat 5050 on the refractometer prism. Cover the daylight plate and bring the refractometer eyepiece up to your eye. If the scale is not clear, use the focus to adjust. If calibrated, the boundary line should fall to 34.6 degrees bricks. If the boundary line does not appear at 34.6, use a screwdriver to adjust the calibration screw until it reads correctly. Use distilled water and flush the prism and wipe clean. Reading a sample of field coolant follows a very similar process to calibration. Place two to three drops of coolant on the prism, close the daylight plate, and bring the refractometer up to your eye and look for the boundary line on the freeze point scale. A 50-50 coolant should read between 31 and 37 degrees bricks. If the reading falls outside of the expectation, use distilled water or ES Complete Oat concentrate to correct. Regardless of which Fleet Guard refractometer part number you order, it will come in a durable storage case that also includes paper instructions on how to use it. Winter is coming. Let us help you take the guesswork out of coolant maintenance with Fleet Guard refractometers. And remember, nothing guards like Fleet Guard. <laughs>